Today we're going to talk about planting grass seed and how to do it. So let's get started. Hello, welcome back to My Green Lawn. What a mess we have here. So today we're going to talk about planting grass seed, how to do it, what's the right way, what's the wrong way. We're also going to do a little experimentation. That's what all this is. Uh, hopefully the wife doesn't kill me and I don't spill any dirt on the carpet. I do have a blanket down below just in case I spill dirt. We're going to be playing in dirt today. So I've got... I got about five empty containers here, or six, five or six. A main container, I thought maybe if I needed to mix some dirt up, I should have brought a towel with me in case I needed to wipe my hands. Here's what we're going to do. I wrote it down so that I wouldn't forget. We're going to plant some grass seed. We're going to do it several different ways. First, we're going to take one of these containers, put some dirt in them, and then we're just going to throw some seed on top of the soil and then we'll water it in. Then we're going to take another container, put some seed in it, we'll plant it down a quarter inch about where you should be planting the seed, just kind of lightly cover up the seed. And we're going to water it with just regular water. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to plant some more seed, quarter inch down. This time we're going to water it with the microbial pack. See if that makes a difference. We're going to do two more. We're going to put the seed down exactly where it should be, quarter inch down. We're going to put some starter fertilizer down and some water. And the last one, we're going to plant the seed properly, put the starter fertilizer down, and water with the microbial pack. We'll see if that makes a difference. So that way we have five different methods of doing it, and we'll put them all out. I know there's probably a hundred more ways we could do it. If you guys have any ideas or you do want to see more variables, post the variables down below. And if I get enough requests for it, I will do another one of these type of experiments. This is just part of the, the mini series that we're running right now on soil. This is episode two in the mini series. Today is January 22nd, 2022. This is the day we're going to be doing our planting and we will monitor this. I've got some little labels here and a marker. I can go ahead and write on these so we can keep track of what's what. I got our containers. I got our measuring spoons for measuring out this. We have some 20, 27, five. 27 phosphorus, holy cow. Holy cow. I just ordered the starter fertilizer I didn't look at the uh, analysis. Holy moly, Batman. We're gonna use cow manure and compost. This is composted cow manure. It actually has a little analysis to it. 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05. That's the analysis of that soil. Now that I found this, I remembered. We're going to do have to do a sixth one. Because I also want to do one with this refresh. It's supposed to be a soil revisor. And so I kind of wanted to, since we're talking about soil, this is supposed to be a way of giving old soil new life. So let's go ahead and try this product. And then, of course, we have our Smart Seed Sun and Shade Mix. And we'll talk about the mixtures. And it also has a coating on it which is supposed to help protect it. I don't know if you can see how seal green that is. That's not the normal color of grass seed. Okay, I got an extra container for the extra one we plan on doing. Okay, first let's go ahead and grab some dirt out of this. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit in this one because I'm gonna also put some of the soil revisor in this one.
we're going to take uh, in this clear one here, we're going to put in some of this Miracle Grow soil refresh. And then we're going to mix it in. I'm just going to dump it in there. You can kind of see it. It's it's almost like palletized. Palletized. Is that focusing? It says right on the bag here. It says uh, five and one soil reviser. Plant food. Yucca. Compressed compost, cocoa color, and gypsum. Okay, what it says we have to do is we have to mix this in with the soil. And I'll just kind of... So before we do anything, let's go ahead and take soil temperature on these because we want to make sure that our soil is at around 70 degrees and if it's not I have some mats I can lay down here they're temp mats and I can we can heat these heat the soil up it's about uh, it's like 68 let's try uh, that, that was, that's the mix let's try some regular soil But that dropped down to, uh, right there, that dropped down to 60. Okay. So the soil is not warm enough. We're in the 60s. I like to see 70 microbe activity to be more active. What we'll do is we'll get, we'll get everything planted first, and then I'm going to go grab those mats. And I'll, I'll show you the mats. We'll put those down. Let's get our water ready. So I got... I got regular water here, and I've got water we're going to put a microbial pack in. This is also not open. This is a recharge. We're just going to add a quarter teaspoon to this water. So I won't water it every day with this or every time it needs water. I'll use this initially, then I'll use some water. And then maybe a couple of waterings in. I'll, I'll shoot it with a little bit more of this. Okay, let's take some grass seed. And this one right here. We're just going to lay the seed. Let's just lay the seed on the top of the soil just like that. This, this container's different. Let's add the start of fertilizer to that. And we're just going to put a little bit in there. Okay, they, they want us to work this into the soil before putting the seed in. So we've got seed in all of them now. This one we're going to leave alone. We're not going to do anything with this other than water this. This one here, we're going to take a little bit more dirt, we'll sprinkle it on top. And normally what you want to do is you want to take a little rake and bounce the rake across the ground and bury that seed. And we're going to do the same thing here. So then I'm going to pat this down so that the seed makes contact with the soil. Pat this down. We'll pat this one down. Pat 
got this one down. Now let's add a little bit of water. So we're going to, this is the seed on top of the soil. We're going to take and just put a little bit of water in here. Okay. And then this next one, this is, this is done correctly. The seed was buried and we'll water this with water. This one here has starter fertilizer in it. Starter fertilizer and water. This one has the soil rejuvenator in it. Miracle Grow. This one here will be the microbial pack. And this one will be the microbial pack with the starter fertilizer. I don't even know what my own experiment is. So it says to work that into the soil. And I'm going to put a little bit more seed in here because of me doing, working this into the soil. We could do that or start all over again. And I think this would be perfectly fine. Again, normally you would take a rake on this and you'd work, work the seed in. We're going to pack this down. So start a fertilizer, start a fertilizer. Microbial pack in this one. The other one had just water. We have to keep the stuff wet now. Okay, let's, uh, I got these little label things here. Let's write down on these before we forget what's what. The far one over there is seed on top. This one here, quarter inch seed with uh, water. Quarter inch seed starter. Everything's tagged, planted, watered. Now we need to get the temperature up to the proper temp. Let me go get the mats. Okay, we got two mats here. We've got this, they're both thermostatically controlled. Heat mat and digital thermostat combo. You can set the temp on these things. This one here is a 10 by 20.75. This one here is a 20 by 20.75. So basically, it's two of these. So I think we can get by with this one right here. So we'll put this one aside. It does come with a nice bag. Here's the mat. The thermostat. So there, there is a probe. Obviously we can't put the probe into every single one, but we're going to just, we'll just pick one, put the probe in there. The thermostat's hooked up. I've got it set for 72 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and get the soil temperature up to 72 degrees. We'll just talk a little bit about this. So a well manicured lawn, is, is one of the first things that people will notice about your house. A healthy lawn starts with the proper seeding with the best grass seed for your desired look and the climate that you're in. Here's what you should know 
if you're going to be planting seed or putting some sod down. So some basics you need to know before you get started. A healthy lawn needs good soil. And this is what this series is all about. We're talking about soil. Most turf grasses prefer a neutral soil. That's not your pH. And I would suggest you do a soil test. That way you can make whatever amendments need to be put down into your soil before you start. The other thing you don't want to do is you don't want to apply any weed killer, any weed preventer right before you seed. You can control the weeds after you've mown the new grass seedlings at least four times. Grass seed labels subscribe specific care requirements for that particular species of grass, such as light tolerance, hardiness and the resistance to drought. Turf grasses are either cool season grass or they're warm season grasses. In general, where you live will determine on what type of grass you can use for the most part. There's some variables in there. So factors to take into consideration when you're picking your grass seed are the altitude that you live in, the amount of shade or sun or foot traffic, and the availability of water. These will all affect your success in your grass planting and how, how and if the seed or lawn will survive. So first let's talk about warm season grasses. I'm not a warm season guy and I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, go ahead and comment down below. But from what I've read, from what I've seen on this subject, is warm season lawns should be seeded anywhere between March through September, depending on your specific location and your weather patterns. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. You need hot summers and mild winters. Your growing will happen in the summertime and your lawn will go dormant in the fall and the winter. Your lawn will thrive in warm temperatures like above 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Generally, the warm season lawns need less water, making them more drought tolerant. Warm season grasses tend to have a wider, uh, wider or coarse blade of grass. They also should be mowed low to the ground, like an inch or half inch. Inch and a half, I think, is long for a warm season turf. And warm season grasses are normally the creeping varieties. The cool season grasses are all seeded from like I would say mid-May through October, although I wouldn't be seeding in those hot summer months in there, depending on your specific location and our weather patterns, right? So our cool season grasses, they will thrive in regions where winter temperatures can reach below freezing and our lawns come back perfectly fine most of the time. They grow during the spring and during the summer. And though they will go dormant in the summer unless we keep them alive with watering. They also thrive in temperatures from around 60 degrees to like 80 degrees. They have a longer, finer type of blade. They are often maintained by well, a lot of larger cutting heights. Turf type tall fescue, three to four inches. And they are generally what they consider like a bunch variety. They, can, they kind of grow in bunches. So let's just talk briefly about what the composition of a grass blade is. Okay, so we've got the blade. What most of us call the blade of grass is actually a complex combination of grass stem, sheath, and nodes. If it grows tall enough, a seed head develops, a crown. This is the base of the grass where all new growth originates, rhizome. This is the horizontal below the ground stem or a runner. Creeping grass is spread by rhizomes or stolons. Roots. Roots are below the ground, a system that sustains the grass, right? That's all the water and nutrients are uptated and absorbed by the roots. Seed head. That's the flower of the grass plant that you'll see if your lawn gets too tall. A stolon is a horizontal, above ground stem or a runner. Creeping grasses spread by stolons or uh, rhizomes. Tiller. This is made up of 
leaf blades and sheaths, the stem and sometimes a seed head, bunch grasses spread by producing new tillers. How to read your grass seed label. So state law does require on all grass seed to be sure to carefully note the following information on the label. On there, you should see the amount of the named variety by percent of weight. Other crop seeds in the package by percent of weight. Any inert ingredients in the package, again, by percent of weight. Percent of weed seed in the mixture, if there's any weed seed. Germination rate of the seed. The higher the germination rate, the better chance that each seed will germinate. In addition to reading the label, you'll also need to determine how much seed you need to buy for your particular area or yard. Seed blends and seed mixes. So in addition to a pure seed option, there's also blends and mixes that are also available. A blend is a combination of two or more of the same species. For example, two types of fescue. A mix is a combination of different species of grasses. Both blends and mixes are formulated for specific regions and needs using the most desirable traits of each grass type to improve the lawn. So like mix could be like a, a sun and shade. Other considerations when you're buying seed. You need to look at uh, the application of the seed like what you, you know is it a broadcast spreader you're going to spread it by hand and how much the coverage rate will vary based on the type of seed you choose considering how you use your lawn very important do you have kids with the playing area do you have a lot of foot traffic to a certain area if you have an area that has a high foot traffic or with children playing you may want to look for a seed that has more of a high traffic tolerance like play areas especially under swings and other play equipment may need some tougher turf how to seed your new or existing lawn seeding is the most common method of planting turf grass although sod is more rewarding <laughs> whether you're starting a new lawn or overseeding an existing lawn or to fill it in or if you're trying to if you're in a warm season grass and you're trying to add a cool season grass to your turf so you can have color in the winter. The basic principles are going to be the same here. So some types of grasses have specific planting and care requirements, but you just look at your packaging and follow your label. As always, follow the label. We'll go step one, prepare the ground. Drill or till the ground to a depth of about three inches and rake any Rake to remove any clogs and smooth out the surface. Remember that you're establishing a grade finish. So also to include any contours for draining, make sure you get your finished surface exactly the way you want it because that is going to be your final grade. Okay, step two, add your nutrients. So you're gonna add your compost or your topsoil and your fertilizer, and then you're gonna work them into the soil before you seed. Step three, plant the grass seed. So spread the grass seed at the rate indicated on the package to ensure even coverage. Once you have the seed down, step four will be to protect the grass seed. So rake the entire area again to cover the seed with a small amount of soil, probably about a quarter inch. Step five, water the seed. So you're gonna frequently water to keep the seed moist but you don't want to saturate it. Cut the watering back to once a day, once the grass reaches about one inch high. Step six, mow the new grass and do your weed control. So what you can do is you can mow when the grass reaches two and a half to three inches tall. Once you've mown the grass three times, you can, you can you can use a regular watering schedule of one inch per week. After mowing a minimum of four times, then you can apply any crabgrass control product to stop the germination of unsightly crabgrass. 
if you're early enough to catch that. If not, you can always put a weed control down to control any weeds. Okay. Now let's just talk real briefly about how to con how to overseed an existing lawn. Step one would be to prepare the existing grass area. Mow the existing grass lower than you usually do, and then rake to thin the existing turf. Step two, you can prepare the soil for growing grass. So first you can aerate it to reduce soil compaction. If your ground is like a rock, it's rock hard, your, your, your seed is not going to take. You're going to have to loosen up that soil, okay? However you have to do that, loosen your soil. Step three, plant the grass seed. Spread the grass seed at the overseeding rate on the bag and then loosely rake the seed in. Step four, protect the grass seed. Top dress with the mulch, a compost, or you can use peat moss. The last thing we'll talk about real quick is how to repair your lawn. This is going to be kind of the same as over seeding. If you only have a bare spot or two in your yard, spot seeding may be what you're looking to do. So fixing bare spots in your lawn is pretty easy. Step one, you're going to want to prepare your lawn for the grass seeds. First, make sure the damage isn't from a pest. If you suspect that an insect or an animal is distressing your lawn, properly manage the pest before planting new grass. Then you can remove the grass and loosen the soil. Step two, spread the grass seed. Spread the seed with a push or hand spreader. Next, rake it in. When you're gonna spread seed by hand, and we're indoors, obviously I can't demonstrate that, but you just have, you grab a handful of seed and you just kind of toss it out like that and it will distribute itself evenly. Step three, protect your new grass seed patches. Mulch with a very thin layer of weed-free straw, such as wheat straw. Or as an alternative, you can use a seed starter mat or a seed blanket to help keep the seed in loose soil from washing or blowing away. Now, very importantly, we've got our seed down. How do we water new and established lawns that have seed in them? So you must keep newly seeded lawns moist. If you have a underground sprinkler system, keep it adjusted and well maintained. I personally go through my sprinkler system, my, I, my entire sprinkler system, several times, probably five or six times in growing season to make sure all the heads are adjusted properly, all the areas are being covered, one of the heads hasn't failed or slightly plugged, it's not going, I'm not getting even coverage. So know the areas that your sprinklers are supposed to hit and know where all your heads are located so that if there is something wrong you're able to notice it right away get it fixed before your lawn starts to suffer okay we have one more thing to look at here we got the grow light this thing's pretty awesome i'm going to go ahead and hang this A mic stand right here. Bring that back. I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, I don't like it. I'll have to figure something out. Okay, there it is. I'm going to have to find some way of stabilizing this. But I'll get it figured out. Hey, thanks for joining us here at My Green Lawn. Thank you for supporting the channel. I appreciate it so much. We're going to put up a, a sticker board here. So if you're a content creator and you want to go ahead and send me a sticker, Go ahead and look in the description down below. I do have contact information listed there. So you can get a hold of me and we can swap stickers. I got some stickers I can send you. Go ahead and send me yours. I'll put them up on my sticker board. I would I love to support my fellow content creators, whether they're lawn care guys 
or other content creators. I will I support everybody. So all we can do is help each other out and supporting each other's channels is one way to do that. Even if you don't have a channel, if you don't have a YouTube channel, you're not a content creator, you just enjoy watching these videos. It is a lot of work to create the content and it's nice if you can show your support by subscribing to the channel down below. Thank you very much. That really helps us out. With that, I'll see you in the green. Have yourself a great day. Take care. Bye.